So welcome to Quick Pixel and we are making this chrome text effect for this video. So let's get into it. So just make a 1920 by 1080p canvas and create it. Now press T on your keyboard or just select this type tool and just type in your text. For this I'm going to type chrome and I'm going to increase the size from here. Change the color to white and place it in the middle. And the font I'm using for this is called Ornandan. If you want to use the same font, the link will be in the description. Now just go to Effects and Gradient Overlay. Now click on this gradient bar and double click on this left slider and choose a darker red color like this one. Now click on the middle of this bar to make another slider. So double click on that slider and choose a black color like this one. Double click here again and choose a brighter red like this one and finally double click here and choose a red like this one and make sure to put these sliders closer to each other and just play around with the scales so i think i'm gonna keep it right here and go to stroke so set the value to inside and choose a white color set the value to 2 or 3 whichever works for you so i'm gonna set it to 2 for now and just go to inner shadow and choose a white color for this and set the blending mode to normal increase the size a bit and maybe a choke a bit as well i think we are good here and maybe increase the opacity a bit now go to drop shadow and choose normal and just increase the opacity a bit like 70% works fine and increase the size a bit as well and increase the spread a bit as well now click on this plus icon it will make another drop shadow layer so just make another layer and click on this layer that we made recently and change the color of this to a red like this one and set the spread to maximum and decrease the size a bit like this now click on this plus icon again and make another drop shadow layer and just increase the distance a bit like this and set the color to white hit ok once you're done now select the type tool again and go to warp text and just play around with these settings so i'm going to keep it right here i guess now press ctrl j on your keyboard that will duplicate the text layer that we made right click on it and convert to smart object and just put it below the text layer and just place it right here and go to image adjustments and hue saturation and just reduce the lightness a bit like this so that was it for the video if you like to see more videos like this make sure to subscribe and see you on the next one